I get to introduce Marcel Gamma, the president and CEO of CBDD or CBD of Denver. Marcel, hello. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Pleasure to be here with you again. Oh, of course. It's always good to see you. Now, I, I think we have a video to roll. So why don't we go ahead and play that and then we'll be back. Yeah, great. In 2017, in Switzerland and most European countries, CBD officially got legalized by the government. In the following years, the market increased up to 10 billion euros as of today. It is expected that the market will increase year over year up to 18 billion by 2025. My name is Marcel Gamma and I am the CEO and Chairman of Swiss Industry Ventures. We are a Swiss investment company building and developing private equity investment platforms and we currently are developing one in the area of CBD business named Rockflower Group. The Swiss CBD market currently offers great opportunities to buy existing profitable but undervalued business at a very attractive price. We integrate these companies in our existing setup and develop them extensively by expanding customer base and sale and bring them into new markets. Additionally, these acquisitions follow the guideline to develop the whole value chain, from seed to customer, for the CBD business in Switzerland and Europe. We have a very professional and diverse team of experts from different areas, CBD business, finance, operations and sales. Our highly motivated and engaged team is key to become one of the top players in the CBD business in Switzerland and Europe. My name is Pascal and... Hey Marcel, let's reshare this. I think we're having some sort of connection issue with the video because the video is not moving, the audio is. So let's, let's take it off the screen for a moment and then reshare it and see if we can't fix the problem here. Audio is great. You should be doing voiceover, Marcel. Pixar needs to hire you. <laughs> this is good. Yeah, no, sorry. Uh, I, I send it, let's say, I send it to you. I uh, was expecting that you were uh, better having better uh, possibility to show it from, from the connectivity. So hopefully I'm sure we can. I'm sure we can, but let's... Let's give this another shot here. Okay, I can great. listen to that voice all day, pal. But but let's let's see if we can't get you your video rolling as well. Aaron, how are we doing? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. It's quite late here in Switzerland. Uh, Eleven uh, p.m. already. In 2017, in oh, Switzerland and most European countries, CBD officially got legalized by the government. Great. In the Hello. following years, the market increased up to 10 billion euros as of today. It is expected that the market will increase year over year up to 18 billion by 2025. My name is Marcel Gamma and I am the CEO and Chairman of Swiss Industry Ventures. We are a Swiss investment company building and developing private equity investment platforms and we currently are developing one in the area of CBD business named Rockflower Group. The Swiss CBD market currently offers great opportunities to buy existing profitable but undervalued business at a very attractive price. We integrate these companies in our existing setup and develop them extensively by expanding customer base and sale and bring them into new markets. Additionally, these acquisitions follow the guideline to develop the whole value chain from seed to customer for the CBD business in Switzerland and Europe. We have a very professional and diverse team of experts from different areas, CBD business, finance, operations and sales. Our highly motivated and engaged team is key to become one of the top players in the CBD business in Switzerland and Europe. My name is Pascal and I'm the Managing Director of Sales of Rockflowers Group and Board Member of Swiss Industry Venture. My name is Maxim, Head of the Production here at Rockflower. I'm in charge of the quality for our flowers. The most common is the Harlequin, for example. Um, I have a nugget in my hand. You see the crystals. The smell is amazing. In the blooming stage, we treat our plants with natural nutrition and the best light condition. To not hurt the plants and achieve the best flavors and quality, we only harvest our buds by hand. 
Rockflower Group has become one of the leading group of companies in the Swiss CBD market. We were able to increase our revenues in 2020 from Q3 to Q4 by more than 40%. That's about $8.5 million. We expect to continue on this level and have budgeted a revenue of $22 million for 21 and are very optimistic to achieve or even exceed. The Swiss and European market is still in its infancy stage and about 10 to 15 years behind the North American market. Given the roadmap, we will not make the same mistakes again. The Swiss market is expected to increase exponentially in the coming years. We expect a continuous year-over-year -year growth of 20 to 25% in the coming years. So you find us on the internet and you find us also on Instagram. Beautiful. That was cool. Let's get Marcel back. We'll get his deck shared. There we are. There we are. Again, this is CBDD. And Marcel, once we have your deck up, I will turn the reins back over to you, my friend. But you're saying it's it's what time is it there where you are? Yeah, it's uh, almost 11 p.m. <laughs> I feel like every time we chat, I need to like tuck you into bed and give you a nightcap because it's so late where you are. No, no, it's okay. I like it. Uh, it's a pleasure. Let's say it's always uh, great to uh, have you, uh, be with you, and then uh, talking to you. So uh, I appreciate uh, to to join you, and uh, it's no no problem to <laughs> to awesome. get up uh, to stay up this this night. Let, let's say uh, it's it's normal. I don't go to bed before twelve. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> oh, of course not. Too much work to do. Well, Marcel, I'll let you get right into it, my friend. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Shall I share my screen, or you want to go uh, uh, keep it on your side? I think we've got it up. Um, so maybe just let us know when to, to scroll. Yeah, uh, let's say go to page uh, three then, please. Great. So let's say uh, I want to like a little bit talk about you, about uh, our chief achievements today. Let's say when we're looking what we have done so far uh, with uh, CBD of Denver, uh, we already did uh, about three successful uh, acquisitions here in Switzerland. One of them uh, you have seen is Rockflower, part of the Rockflower Group. We also have several uh, two other companies also in the production. Uh, looking on, on the financial achievements we did, uh, we let's say we have a great team, as already mentioned here. We are working hard to, to achieve what we already achieved, 16.5 million revenue in uh, 2020. Uh, let's say, uh, even more successfully in the first quarter uh, of uh, 2021, 7.5. We, let's say, we expected or we planned to have 22 by uh, 2021, but uh, looking over on the past 12 months, uh, trailing revenue since, uh, let's say, ending April, we already achieved 24.4. 20, so I think we have a really uh, excellent situation uh, to get become even more successful uh, looking also uh, uh, on our let's say the market what we have uh, really developed is a very very strong customer base here in switzerland and also in europe and uh, we are now really very very strongly expanding in uh, other let's say more even more uh, high margin business like online retail and uh, b2b we have uh, our own shop, as you have seen. Uh, you saw a shot in the in the video in uh, in uh, the, let's say eastern part of Switzerland, uh, and uh, planning to expand this. Uh, yeah, in the in the coming let's say six to twelve months. So also the online presence we have been talking about several times. We have reviewed our uh, internet presence. We uh, just uh, redeveloped the, the CBD of Denver website, looking more uh, let's say nice uh, uh we currently expanding also some kind of investor uh, area uh, we receive a lot of questions from our investors and uh, we are continuously increasing uh, this this is very important for us to really take care about the investors uh, shareholders giving them uh, adequate answers uh, uh, on the questions they they uh, share with us and uh, we are continuously developing also some kind of uh, specific shareholder investor area uh, we expect this uh, will come over in the next, let's say, two to three weeks with a specific FAQ uh, section. Uh, we are working on then also uh, we want to share some some uh, more details about the company, 
giving some outlooks, presentations like I'm doing here, uh, also sharing the videos. Uh, you can, uh, let's say, review them on, on, the, on this area. And this is important for us to really take care about this. Maybe please, please next slide. Then I really, let's say I also once again a little bit want to talk about the Swiss market advantages, uh, advantage. Let's say, as we already know, Switzerland has a very well uh, uh, situation. From a legal point of view, we are allowed uh, as the only uh, country here in, uh, in Europe to grow uh, and also produce cannabis up to one uh, percent, uh, up to one percent THC level. Uh, most of the Europe, all the European countries, countries are uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, which gives us, a, a, let's say, the advantage that we are able to grow better products, better, uh, let's say, also flowers. Uh, and then, uh, let's say, for example, to export it to the rest of the European market, we wash it down, but still keep a high level of, uh, let's say, of uh, quality with our products. As already mentioned, the legal framework in Switzerland is really very open. We are very liberal, liberal as, as we always have been as a, as a country. And uh, Luxembourg and Switzerland are especially looking on the medical market, are ahead from, from the, the rest of Europe uh, in, in moving, let's say, in, in direction of a fully legalization of this, uh, uh, of, of this market. Uh, let's say also looking on, on, but let's say the great opportunity is, uh, as we also are still in some kind of infancy stage. Uh, it's a very, let's say, booming market here. Uh, it's the, a lot of uh, potential to develop the market over the coming years. And uh, looking at the ge geographical setup of Switzerland is really in the middle of Europe. We uh, can reach out to every country, uh, let's say very well, as we're really in the heart of Europe. Baby, please move to next to the next slide. When we're looking a little bit on the European market, the potential of the European market, where we are uh, already well, very well uh, positioned, uh, the European market has a uh, seven, uh, seven, seven, seven million four hundred sixty-four uh, point four. Uh, let's see, uh, it has a population of 746 million people. This is double the size of the US market. Uh, a lot of people are not aware about this. Uh, looking on uh, some, some uh, expectations, uh, for example, from Brightfield Group, they expect uh, an ex exceptional market growth over uh, of about 400% uh, percent of the European market uh, over the next four years. We have been talking about, uh, let's say, the eight to ten million billion, which is the the current let's size of the Europe, European market now, and uh, it's expected up to twenty, let's say, thirteen point six by twenty twenty five. So it's really a really huge, uh, let's say, huge opportunity we have here, and uh, Swiss uh, industry ventures by or CV, CBD of Tenor with the Rockflower Group is playing a major role there. Please go to the next slide. Uh, I also want a little bit talk about uh, the growth strategy where we are following. Uh, let's say one important thing for us, as, as already mentioned, uh, we have great opportunities in uh, Switzerland and also in Europe to buy existing company to, uh, let's say, a very interesting uh, valuation. Uh, we are looking for this kind of, let's say, hidden diamonds in the market. We are now uh, uh, also uh, look. We have uh, already identified about uh, eight to ten uh, targets. Uh, with three to five of them, we are already in, uh, let's say, further negotiation. We are uh, on the way uh, to to uh, look uh, deeper on them. We already started with one of them a due diligence, and uh, we probably can let's say, make further announcements in the coming, let's say, four to five weeks about uh, what's going on there. But this is not the only way, uh, let's say, developing uh, the, our business. We also uh, do a strategic business development uh, uh, by expanding our photo create geographical footprint. Uh, this is also uh, uh, looking on the diversification of risk. We are, let's say, uh, um, 
focusing on different markets. As already mentioned in the beginning, we are very strong in wholesale. We have already a, a strong footprint in uh, B2B, which we are now even, uh, we are, which we are currently even more uh, uh, expanding and uh, developing. Then uh, we are also planning uh, some in, uh, European uh, distribution center in Austria, uh, giving us better access to the, the European market uh, as as only out of Switzerland. And as yeah, and uh, the the companies we are looking for uh, offering very attractive multiples. Uh, in Switzerland, we're talking about five to seven, and uh, in in uh, the US, looking on the market, we going up ten to twelve. So we have a, a great opportunity to get uh, nice companies uh, at a very valuable price and that uh, offering uh, an interesting side up uh, by implementing them into our uh, current setup and. Not last but not least, we are cash for positive, positive and accredited, and uh, we are currently increasing, continuously increasing our sales chances also on underdeveloped market, uh, like Poland, uh, as we, uh, also in the let's say in the Benelux, where we still have some great opportunities, and also looking on uh, countries like Sweden, uh, Denmark, and uh, yeah, more than northern countries here in Europe. Maybe moving to the next slide, please. Yeah, I talked already about this. Grow, uh, wholesale is a uh, is a very important uh, and a very strong uh, driver uh, for us uh, as of today. Uh, as you see here, just uh, one example. We are now uh, developing and then further, let's say, uh, yeah, just developing our our, our uh, look and feel, or let's say that uh, how we position us on the market. With some kind of very innovative artwork we are using for our product portfolios and the products we are selling. This is an example of the new packaging of the rock flower uh, uh, flowers, which are sold as uh, uh, to the market. Uh, please move to the next slide. Then also in retail and B two B, we are continuously developing our uh, portfolio uh, offering. This is just an example of uh, our new pro beauty products. We are currently developing uh, Swiss made uh, and, and uh, rock flower branded beauty products, which we are uh, uh, planning to launch in the next, uh, let's say in the coming weeks. And next one, please. So, but coming to uh, one of the last slide, uh, why it is interesting to invest in us? We think uh, we are really uh, very well positioned. We have a, a great network. We have a, a very, uh, let's say, strong uh, footprint here in Europe already. And uh, we are able to buy the, the interesting companies, successful companies at very attract attractive prices to, through our network and uh, through our, let's say, as, as, we, as we are well positioned. And uh, implementing them in the existing setup. The European cannabis, as already mentioned, is in a in an early stage and uh, it's uh, strongly developing and uh, increasing and uh, offering huge multiples and huge uh, benefits for the coming years. Uh, this means uh, the market is currently about 10 to 15 years behind the US and Canadian market. Uh, through our uh, network and uh, also through our uh, management team, we have people knowing this market very well. And uh, let's say gives gives us the opportunity not doing the same pitfalls, not doing maybe the same mistakes as some of the, some of the companies have done in the US, and learning out uh, what they have done and may, uh, probably doing it better. Uh, we have four, five, four, four to five additional acquisitions uh, already under negotiation, as already mentioned. Our revenue is, uh, let's say, is, is, in my opinion, very impressive and uh, profitable. And uh, looking as as already mentioned on the trailing revenue, forty four point five million, uh, forty four for forty four point four million over the past twelve months ending April, I think we showed that you really are uh, able to rock the market. And uh, mm -hmm. let's say looking on on the multiples, which uh, according to Hayward Capital in this area are about ten to twelve. 
at the current uh, valuation we have about 60 million we think that we are uh, quite uh, undervalued on on what we do now marcel uh, just this is patrick i just wanted to interject we have about two to three minutes left and we do have some questions in the chat i want to let you keep going if you want to but we do have some questions from the investors. Yeah, no, for sure. I'm ready to, uh, let's see, that's why I'm here. I uh, just wanted to really show, give a short outlook. Unfortunately, the video did not work so very well in the beginning, so we lost a little bit of time, but uh, happy to answer some questions of, of uh, the, the audience. Not a problem, not a problem. And we will make this live after the fact as well. So plenty of time for folks to come back and, and watch and, and send some more questions your way. But okay, uh, a couple of quick things here. So. Um, our friend Ghost here is asking how close we are uh, to U.S. financial reporting. Anything that you can tell us there? Yes, uh, let's say we already uh, announced that the Swiss audit have been done. We are working now together with Fruci on uh, on uh, let's say fulfilling the, uh, the the U.S. audits. Uh, let, let's say the the plan is to have it done by end of May. But I can, let's say, I cannot commit so far because, but we are strongly working against this target, but I cannot commit, uh, but uh, let's say, this is the target we have. We try sure. to. I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off there. If you had more to say. No, it's okay. That's, that's it. Okay. Got it. Um, so, um, Stephen, Stephen has asked about um, any potential acquisitions that you might make. Um, you know, if that is in the near or, or yeah, let's call it the near term, um, would it be cash that you'd be using in those acquisitions? Uh, would there be any stock deals that, that would be done? Um, any, anything like that that you can tell the, the investors? I know probably you can't say too much about that, but, but, yeah, let, uh, but yeah, let me know. Uh, that's the most important thing, as, as already mentioned in the past, uh, uh, there was some, some, there was the several, several questions about dilution. Uh, let's say we are also trying to, to, uh, generate the uh, most, most, uh, for, for our shareholders. And the shareholder value is, is always important for us. We are always trying to find the best model to not, let's say, uh, uh, let's say, uh, making, uh, bad bad benefits for our existing shareholders doing the best for our company and finding the best mix uh, probably uh, if we do an acquisition part of the acquisition will be in uh, will be probably in, in shares uh, and part b will be in cash so but uh, we're working on that and as soon as uh, we have let's say can can fi have finalized some acquisition we were also able then to to share the details with uh, our investors and shareholders great Great. Well, I, I know there's so much more to discuss, um, you know, selling THC in Switzerland and beyond in Europe, uh, you know, accepting Bitcoin and cryptocurrency uh, as method of payment. You guys are really moving the needle and quickly. Um, mm -hmm. you got, where should our investors reach out to you, Marcel, if they're interested in, in learning more or asking more, more questions? Yes, let's say we have, uh, we have uh, they can always come directly to me. Uh, Marcel at cbdofdenver.com or investors at cbdofdenver.com. We're trying to take care about all the, the questions. Uh, maybe take some time because we have to, to go back to our, uh, let's say, legal department or to our, uh, let's say, marketing communication department. But uh, we try to really answer all the questions which are coming to us uh as let's say as fast as possible because it's 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 in our interest to really keep uh, the people trusting us uh following us uh, and 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 uh, let's say uh, yeah believing on what we're doing that we also take care about them and uh yeah don't uh, yeah we will well, thank you thank you marcel we really appreciate it you guys cbdd CBD of Denver. I love saying that. I'm just going to keep saying it over and over again. Um, <laughs> but, but Marcel, thanks for coming on. We really appreciate it. I hope you sleep well tonight uh, after yeah. staying up with us late here. Uh, and guys, make sure to reach out, ask your questions to Marcel uh, and the CBDD team. Thank you, sir. It was a great pleasure talking to you and uh, have a good day for you. Yes. You. See you soon, hopefully. Yes, in real life one of these days. Take okay. care, my friend. Thank you. Take care of you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now.